Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. If you like the Mike Widener Show and you want to make your own podcast, well, let me tell you about Anchor. First of all, it's free. Secondly, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. You can also add any song from Spotify directly to your episodes. The possibilities are endless. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. You can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. You can also make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get start this edition of the mike wagner show is brought to you by picture this photo books where remembering is the key ingredient how beautiful your mother looked at her wedding and even more so at yours and who doesn't miss grandma's meatballs the holidays are coming what better time to give a gift of remembrance that makes you laugh and cry all at the same time whatever gift of grandma's recipes or just because those smiles and tears will melt your heart call karen shaw at 646-798-0809 or visit picturethisphotobooks.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 10% off your first order. Picture This Photo Books, bringing your memories back to life. They're whimsical, casual, or formal, and always uniquely you. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call one 800 303 Three nine six zero, or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get twenty percent off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. It's time to give a shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international award-winning author Mian Mosin Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, then you'll love Missing by Mian Mosin Zia. Available on Amazon and. Paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries with two strangers and one target where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available in paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mia Mosin Zia has garnered great reviews and is even loved by Hollywood celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today. Order Missing by Mia Mosin Zia. Now available at Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the themikewagnershow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia. Available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and evil love and enjoys by Howard Celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com and over 30 podcast platforms on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple Music, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great merchandise, especially for the Christmas season, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Wagner Show podcast. T-shirts, pop sockets, throw billows, tote bags, and a lot more. Makes great Christmas gifts 24-7. And also for more great gift ideas for the holiday season, check out the Me and Molson Zia store on Amazon for great books like Missing, Want Some Wrinkles, also T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, phone cases, and more. Amazon.com slash Me and Molson Zia. Make sure you order today for your loved ones during the holiday season. And don't forget to support us on Anchor FM, as well as PayPal and the Mike Show.com. Make sure you give generously today. 
We are here with the uh, two members of a wonderful 70s uh, super group known for Still the One, Dance With Me, and Love Takes Time. And um, they also had uh, spanned 16 albums and several DVDs, and their music has been streamed millions of times a week. So that's how big it's been. And also been um, been featured in uh, TV, movies, commercial production. So if you heard uh, the song Still the One, they're pretty much still the one right here, and they're going to be talking about a brand new album, which is a Christmas special and the first and only Christmas release, and we'll talk about that. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful downtown Nashville, we have the uh, members of Orleans. We have John Hall, who's back with us and glad to be back, and also Lance Hoppin of Orleans. Guys, just want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and thanks for joining us. And John, good, good to have you back again. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for asking us. Mm -hmm. and lance is good to have you as well too yeah i need to take a deep breath after everything you just said <laughs> well it's just great to have you guys on board as well too and of course uh you guys are known for still the one dance with me love takes time and it's been um you've had um your music millions of streams of a week practically and uh john you, you uh also have a solo career you got elected to the um to the uh, u.s hopper House of Representatives representing New York. And uh, Lance, you also helped uh, co-found the group. You joined at 18. And uh, you also had some solo music. And you guys come together with um, a Christmas special called New Star Shining. And uh, before getting all that, um, tell us uh, once again how you guys first got started. John, just a little recap on how you got started. And also, Lance, uh, you can also tell us how you got started. So, John, give us a little a quick recap. Well, uh, Lance's older brother, Larry Hoppin, and our drummer Wells Kelly and I got together in Woodstock, New York, and about nine months later, Lance uh, joined on bass, and uh, the four of us were, we made uh, three records, and and the fourth one we did with Jerry Murata playing drums also, and then um, I, I went my own way and did some solo work, and it was the first of uh, several breakups and getting back together the band had, and, uh, but we've we keep recording, kept recording. We actually did a, a record in Nashville that was a attempt at a country rock crossover thing that uh, had some really good music on it and got some airplay, but was never the same size hit as what we had had in the beginning. Uh, Love Takes Time was, that was not uh, when I was in the band, that was after afterwards. And uh, But we uh, were working off and on through the decades. And this year we're working together and started up after the pandemic uh, in this last June of 2021 and have been working since then. And this week we're actually gonna be uh, in uh, Stewart and Jacksonville, Florida. So uh, you can go to orleansonline.com or our Orleans Music Facebook page and find out more about that. And Lance, if that was too brief, you can fill in the blank. That was the uh, thumbnail sketch of uh, what was almost is almost 50 years now. Uh, mm -hmm. Next year is our 50th anniversary. But I think the question was, how did we get started? So um, <laughs> going back to that, um, <clears throat> I'll reiterate that the Orleans started as a trio with John's dream of, uh, to have a, a band in which uh, <clears throat> could write and perform original music. Um, tried a couple of things. One thing he did was he stole Wells, Wells Kelly from the band he was in with my brother, Larry, and that was the final nail in the coffin. Wells came down from Mythica to Woodstock. They, John and Wells tried a couple of guys, didn't work, and they imported Larry then uh, to form that trio. I went to see that band when I was 18. It was 1972 when I was in my, final, my senior year of high school. I went to see them <clears throat> a couple, three times, and what was amazing was they would all switch instruments at any given point and play everybody, you know, they all played everything. So it was uh, quite the sight to see. So when I got the opportunity to audition um, <clears throat> uh, to be the fourth, uh, I jumped at it and I was uh, at the tail end of my 18th year that I joined Orleans and we were in the studio. Oh, when this, in the spring, we showcased in New York City, went, landed our first record deal and started recording in the summer of 73 and the rest is history mm, that is rather interesting and uh and lance uh you know just uh go way back how you first got started and who are some of your um your, your uh your favorite uh singer songwriters and musicians growing up well you know 
you're either a Beatles guy or a Stones guy, right? I was a Beatles mm. guy. We were all kind of be- Beatles guys. And uh, so Beatles, the birds, um, <clears throat> Beach Boys, um, all bees, right? Mm-hmm. Motown, big influence, really big. And um, uh, and I, you know, we all, in my house, we all played and, and sang and uh, were trained classically as John was trained classically. So we have all those influences that come to bear uh, as we become we became and continue to be Orleans. Mm, that's rather interesting as well, too. And of course, um, you guys had all the music that uh, stream as well, too. 16 albums, several DVDs, and and it's just so amazing. And of course, you know, we'll talk a little bit about the um the the Christmas uh, special New Star Shining. You all have the title track that was recorded in 94 for Woodstock Holidays that was released in Japan. So you had some that got the you know, previously released, but then you also record some uh, new material as well. We did. We recorded a bunch of new new material. New Star Shining was actually recorded first. Uh, my first wife and co-writer Johanna and I, Johanna Hall and I wrote that uh, in 1986, and it was recorded by Ricky Skaggs and James Taylor as a duet. And uh, Mark Wills and a few other people did it, uh, but we didn't record our own version of it until '94 for a Woodstock Christmas record that um, was released in Japan and, and uh, we own the rest for, for the rest of the world, but never released it ourselves. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, we, you know, there were a couple other things that had been on you know, previous records, uh, Quiet Place, the check, second track was on a money solo albums and, and uh, Lance and Brady and Lane and, and Fly all, you know, sang and played on it. And, beefed it up from a very acoustic thing. That had John Sebastian on it too, playing harmonica. And um, who I know from way back in the village when, you know, basically when he was in Love and Spoonful. Uh, And, you know, we just, we recorded during, in isolation during the pandemic. A lot of it was recorded in our homes in different cities and in different states. And then emailed, the files were emailed in to our engineer who, who mixed them together and Lance and Mike Melfizi, our live sound engineer who, who mixed this CD, is uh, is here in Nashville, and he, he and Lance pulled together the uh, the far ranging pieces of it, and uh, and it's been mastered and and mixed so that it sounds like it was it's of a piece. In my opinion, anyway, it sounds like it's it all fits together, which is amazing considering that some was done by Fly with you know other people he was working with in a studio up in. Uh, in uh, Boston, and you know, a couple of things were done here and there. And there were, you know, Bill Payne played piano on a song called "I Wish I Could Have Been There," and uh, recorded remotely from his home in Montana, and just oh wow, sent it in. And so uh, we have, you know, Little Feet member and uh, all all kinds of illustrious people besides the five of us. Mm-hmm. That's so amazing. And Lance, you can also uh, join as well, too, that um, there's also some other songs like Mary's Christmas. I wish I could have been there and um, also, also a little bit as well, too. And uh, maybe tell us about, um, you know, some of the album uh, from your perspective. Right. So as John mentioned, we we found ourselves um, out of work, as everybody did with the lockdowns. We first endeavored to figure out how to record ourselves audio and video and, and do what a lot of bands were doing, uh, isolation videos. So we, we first did that, figured that out. Um, and then another, and then another, and then we had four of them, four productions over a couple of months, a couple of three months. And with the thought was, well, we have four new things. Why don't we just continue and make a, an album for our 50th year? You know, and, and the next thought was, well, why don't we make a Christmas album first? Because that has a more of a deadline. And so mm-hmm. we undertook that at, uh, in January. We started and nobody knew it was going to be <laughs> such a Herculean lift to do it all by remote and sending files back and getting the methodology down. And um, as John said, there's a few things that were just lifted from other previous lives, as is like New Star Shining. Mm-hmm. Um, but there were things that had other starts that we kind of took them apart and then put them back together a different way or added background vocals or, you know, just expanded on them. And then there were a couple, there were several things that we started from scratch. So there's a variety of uh, how the things were 
put together. And there's also a variety of styles uh, within the context of this 12 song collection. So um, as usual, Orleans is eclectic for better or worse. Um, there's a there's a like a church kind of traditional on it. There's uh, I discovered Larry had done a version of Winter Wonderland oh, wow. with some with people in Florida, and I had known about this, but I didn't. I never had heard it, but I scoured YouTube and found it and pulled it down and contacted the guy who recorded it and said, "Can we use this for the album?" And he said, "Absolutely." So he's posthumously uh, represented. Uh, hmm. Not only in New Star Shining, because we did it in the 90s, but uh, on this, this pretty rocked out version of uh, Winter Wonderland. So it's a collection of, um, it, it's a labor of love. Uh, we learned a lot doing it. I think uh, it succeeds on its own merit. Uh, it's not your, you know, let's rehash all the Christmas carols kind of album. It's not that at all. It's a... Uh, it's uh, got a lot of depth, and and uh, I'm really pleased with it, actually. Mm -hmm. He also had as well, too, tradition-wise, Mary Had a Baby, and also uh, I'm Coming Home for Christmas, and also Jingling in New England. I seem to be really intrigued by that one, and tell us more about that. You talk about Fly and Marrow a lot, and it looks like that's one of, uh, you, know, you know, the one that stands out to me, Jingling in New England. Ah, I like that. <laughs> what's your pick? Well, Fly, joined, Fly was in the band uh, briefly a couple of years in the early 80s when John had uh, departed uh, for the, you know, for a while, for the first time. And he had uh, some of these songs, um, like Jingling was a previous, had a previous life. And we took those files and took, and we redid the background vocals, expanded upon them, you know, added to it. And uh, he, yeah, Fly thinks that's a hit. We'll see about that. Um, <laughs> Mary had a baby. Uh, my family, my mother played piano and, um, sang fantastically she played for a church in her later years and one christmas this is mid 80s the four siblings my older sister my, my two brothers and i were rehearsing for that service and captured it on a, a little one of those little cassette recorders with the built-in microphones placed mm -hmm. on a piano and so we had these uh, funky recordings from that time and uh, both my younger brother Lane who plays piano in our band for the past 20 years he and I thought that would be a good call so we just um, took a brief snippet of that of the of the four of us singing and and merged that into a new version of that arrangement so we recreated that family thing and stuck the family on the front side so that's how that came about um, Mary's Christmas came from Wayne Nelson in Little River Band. Um, I'm Coming Home for Christmas came from Joe Puerta in, in uh, Ambrosia. So we collected these things from far and wide um, to make this, uh, this piece. And um, I'm glad we did, actually. I am mm -hmm. glad. If I could, I, uh, Mike, I just wanted to say that the uh, uh, Mary Had a Baby is a, it's a choir arrangement, soprano, alto, tenor, bass. And we, we have never done that. Orleans has never sung that kind of uh, piece of music before. And I wow. I really enjoyed, well, the bass part. And I always <laughs> wanted to sing like Little Richard, but I have a low voice. So I leave that to somebody else. But, but, uh, <laughs> but I got to sing the bass part. And I think, you know, reading music, singing parts with other people is uh, is a great joy to me. And it's uh, it was always kind of like we're, one of the ways that I felt the supernatural. I felt... Um, I felt a higher power <laughs> as a kid, not so much from uh, the preaching and the and the kneeling and all that, but from music. And uh, so this is it's an interesting connection and it breaks up the rest of the songs nicely. It, it does sound like it as well, too. I'll talk more about the um, the album New Star Shining and also a little about um, Lance as well, too. But first, listen to the Mike Widener show at the Mike Widener show dot com powered by SoundCloud Studios. 
Visit our line at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SonicWebStudios.com. Mention to Mike Widener show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and even love and enjoys by Howard's celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today of Four Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com on over 30 podcast platforms. Take us with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today for great gift ideas for the holiday season. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, Go to Amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia for great books, merchandise, and more. And don't forget to support us on Anchor FM, PayPal, and the MikeWidenerShow.com. Make sure you give generously today as well. We're here with um, John Hall and Lance Hoppen of Orleans here on the Mike Widener Show talking about uh, New Star Shining. It's the um, the new album, first and only Christmas album, and uh, happens to coincide in the 50-year um, anniversary of Orleans. And before we get back to talking about the album, Lance, you also had a couple of uh, solo releases as well, too, like Start Where You Are, Conjuring, and more, too. And, um, you know, tell us about some of your uh, solo work as well. Yeah, well, um, I don't really consider myself a writer, like a writer, writer, but I, I, I write, I've written a uh, small quantity, high quality, I think. And uh, so Conjuring uh, represents a, coll a collection of 15 songs that I had a, my stamp all over. And I, in 2016, I found myself with time, money and material. And I said, well, this is the time to create this uh, legacy piece. And it was not, you know, meant to be a bestseller. It was meant to document these songs that had gone uh, largely unrecorded. So um, that, that's, my, uh, that's my little stake in the ground of, of uh, production and writing and singing and playing. And, and uh, this is how I would do it, you know? So often in the context of Orleans, um, it's a team, right? So everyone's efforts come to this middle and it's hard sometimes to tell who, who's really done what, um, which is fine. But this was my chance to say, this is what I, this is who I am. So um, that's all about that. It's not, you know, it's not a, I, I don't know what to say about it. It's my own um, piece so that those things just wouldn't disappear once I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think that pretty much sums up, right, John? You got to say that 50 years. Oh, ago, I'm doing that too. Build, building a legacy. Mm -hmm. And certainly a great legacy you've had as well, too. You know, having, um, you know, 16 albums, you had some uh, major hits and your music is still streamed by millions, um, you know, per week or so, which is just amazing. And of course, you know, just a few more as well, too, on the uh, new Star Shining release, which, by the way, we're going to play a title track at the end of the audio interview. So for those, um, you know, watching the Mike Widener show, if you don't listen to New Star Shining, go to the audio version of the Mike Widener show. Before we wrap up, you can listen to New Star Shining and um, getting back to the album as well, too, that um, I'm just trying to think what we have also talked about. Uh, Snowden with you, I wish. And um, you also uh, had some um, others as well, too, like Ballad of the Christmas Day Cowboy, maybe just uh, a couple more songs to uh, talk about as well. Well, I, I just wanted to mention Snowed In with you, which uh, uh, Johanna and I wrote back uh, a couple of decades ago. And and that song has never been recorded. We always thought that it had great potential for a seasonal hit. And uh, we cut it from scratch uh, during this lockdown. And and uh, it's I think it's a pretty good piece of work. It's uh, also features uh, the legendary Dan Dugmore on steel guitar, who, if you're not sure you know who he is, uh, think about the steel guitar solo on Linda Ronstadt's version of Blue Bayou, 
that's Dan. Oh, and many other, yes. I could, you know, list things, but he, the Tra Casey Musgraves uh, Golden Hour record, he played steel all through that. And uh, so everything from, you know, cr country to pop and in between. Andrea Zahn, who plays with James Taylor, and before that, Ben Skill uh, played fiddle, actually did a, a string section uh, orchestrated with Lance, uh, arranged a, uh, a string quartet, which is on Mary Had a Baby. And also uh, she plays fiddle on uh, Snowed In With You. And, you know, we have a couple, couple of guests like that, Billy Payne from Little Feet, uh, John Jorkinson, who's an amazing player of any stringed instrument, played the uh, mandolin on I Wish I Could Have Been There. And uh, Fly has, I think, three songs on this record that he, he cut by himself and we added, uh, uh, some of them we added vocals to, or, you know, everything's been remastered, even the old tracks, and in some cases remixed. Uh, so that's, that's what I wanted to uh, say about it. Yeah. yeah. I, I wish I could fly. I wish I could fly. That's a, it's kind of a 40s style ballad that Fly had, and that one made the cut just as is. Um, and the, the, the zany one is Ballad of the Christmas Cowboy, which is also Fly's. He had a whole record called Country Cracked Christmas. He's Country a, Cracked Christmas. I love that whole, title. <laughs> whole album of like loony Christmas songs. So, so the ballad, uh, made the cut on that score and it, it tops off the end of the album. Um, you kind of have to hear it to understand. <laughs> you got be, to be, be there. You have to be there. You know? Oh my gosh. I'm certainly looking forward to it. And uh, where can we find um, new star shining and uh, around Christmas time, where can we uh, find a release? You can Maybe find it on Amazon. Yeah. You can get it at Amazon. It's, uh, it's listed by itself. You can get it from our website, orleansonline.com. You can get it from Sunset Boulevard Records. Um, I think that's the name of their .com. Any, any streaming platform. It's basically what uh, what the label is saying is any place you get your music, you can mm -hmm. find our new star signing CD and, and or download or stream, what have you. Mm -hmm. Spotify, Pandora, Amazon, uh, Apple, Tidal, et cetera. Okay. All right. That sounds good. We'll certainly check that out. And what's coming up for uh, Orleans and more? We'll find out just one minute. You listen to the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor, the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson Z of Missing, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. We'll be back with John Hall and Lance Hoppen of Orleans and their Christmas special after this timeout. We're back with John Hall and Lance Hoppen of Orleans here on the Mike Wagner Show. We talked about their uh, 50th um, anniversary album as well, too. Their first and only Christmas release, which is called New Star Shining, available on all streaming platforms. And um, also, what's coming up for you guys in um, 2022 and beyond? What can we expect from you sometime going to next year? What? Oh, you're muted, Lance. Uh, well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you part of it, which oh, oh, is... Uh, he, oh, he's on back, by the way. Lance, you're oh, back you're on. back. Okay, go for it, Lance. No, he's not back. Um, so we continue to work. We've, uh, over the past 49 years, we've been a live band, except when we didn't have any fun and then stopped doing it. But but that maybe accounts for five or six or seven years total of all that time. Other than that, we've been working. And um, of course, we stopped for the pandemic, but kick back up in June and uh, we're still out this week. We're playing in Florida. Got a few more dates before this, this year, but really it kicks back in a big way come spring. Uh, we're booked, you know, it's pretty stacked already for next year, which is actually the 50th year of the band as it, as it exists. Um, John and I leading the charge, the only the two surviving of the original four, the other members, uh, my brother Lane has been, uh, with us since 2000. So you've got 21 years in. Um, our drummer Brady joined us in uh, 2018. We've had seven, seven uh, full-time drummers in our history. So wow. that's a, we've, yeah, it's a long stretch, 49 years. <laughs> and uh, and <clears throat> Fly, <clears throat> who we've mentioned a lot, um, had to come off the road in uh, August, uh, temporarily probably, 
we're, we're not really sure, but so we have a brand new guy, uh, named is Tom Lane filling those shoes and he he's with us, uh, into next year and we'll see what happens with that. But uh, yeah, we continue to work, um, <clears throat> which is amazing. I mean, not, we would have not predicted this at all. I mean, the, the coffin shut so many times. It was like, wow. Since it's so Halloween. Again. Yeah, like, so uh, after a while you stop thinking it's the end. It's just uh, the, the continuing saga of Orleans. That is so interesting. And lastly here, uh, what's a, what's a Christmas message uh, you guys want to uh, send to our listeners, viewers, and uh, your fans? Well, uh, I would say as uh, the uh, prophets and the, the uh, various deities and uh, holy people of every different religion pretty much say, and as, as the Beatles sang, Love is all you need. And uh, that's basically out. And the records, uh, it's got fun things that it's got a little topical commentary here and there, but it's basically, I think, a, a loving record. That's kind of how we intended it. And and uh, so, you know, it's not it's not all religious, but it's uh, um, it's reverent. I would guess I would say that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Reverent in its in its secularness. Um, and, you know, peace on earth, goodwill toward men and women still applies. And that's uh, the nature of the season. And hopefully we'll, we'll um, permeate this otherwise um, kind of unhealthy culture that uh, we live here in America and in the world. So, um, that, that needs some, some uh, TLC. And the other thing that's about Christmas for me, it's about family and and kids, and I'm looking forward to visiting my daughter and my three grandchildren over that time period because that's where the action is, not at my house, so that it's at their house. <laughs> oh, I think we're all looking forward to it. You guys are amazing. Once again, John Hall and Lance Hoppin of Orleans uh, with their Christmas release, uh, New Star Shining, that's out on Amazon and other platforms. Guys, a very big thank you for your time. You can absolutely amazing looking forward again soon john it's great to have you back you guys are welcome anytime once again um tell us what's upcoming for you guys what's your website how do people contact where can people purchase all your music check out your works and especially uh new star shining well orleansonline.com is the website and uh on facebook we have uh, orleans music uh, is the way to find the page uh and it's um you know we try to keep that at lance tries to keep it up to date in terms of live performances and you know we're always revising and going undergoing a revision now and we'll be a newly uh shiny uh, and refurbished uh, website any minute but it still has the history of the band and all the uh, a lot of photographs and videos and and all, all the recordings are documented there so and as i said you know we can find you can find new star shining on on any platform where you get your music whether you're buying a physical copy or whether you're you're downloading or streaming um you know we've got the videos lance talked about that we've made in the last year are uh, are available they were on youtube you can search yeah. for orleans and and uh, any title of any song uh one that lance and i wrote that's uh mission of mercy is called and it's uh i think you know it's a really good song and and it shows you know lance's songwritability and mine and, and also uh it's another recording and video that were done in isolation so so we're working away and and uh you know we we started playing as orleans back when we were saying don't trust anybody over 30 and now you can <laughs> add 30 together twice and we're still older than that so anyway it's good we're still doing it mm -hmm. and lance uh, any last words here um the, specifically, the YouTube channel is Orleans Online. If you want to just look at the channel, there's a wealth of information there. Um, but no, Mike, uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. And uh, I, I don't know how you talk so fast, but I, I aspire to that. Oh, that's amazing as well, too. And thank you very much as well, too. Once again, guys, a very big thank you for your time. You guys are terrific. Looking forward to having you again. And just wanted to say, um, we want to hear from you. Like to wish you guys a very merry Christmas, happy New Year, and look forward to chanting with you guys in 2022. You guys have been terrific, and keep up the great work. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Mike. You too. Have a great holiday.
They didn't own a house No crib, no toys were waiting Still they had their love For the child they were anticipating He was born one winter night On a road between two towns They wrapped him up so warm and tight Said it looks like heaven's come down There was a new sky up above by its light that winter night they found peace and perfect love if we want to find it I know we always will cause that Picture this photo books, where remembering is the key ingredient. Preserving memories, keeping the memories of your loved ones alive as they reach in and touch your heart. How beautiful your mother looked at her wedding, and even more so at yours. The holidays are coming. What better time to give a gift of remembrance that makes you laugh and cry all at the same time. Whether it's a gift of past holidays, grandma's recipes, long ago moments, or just because, those smiles and tears will melt your heart. Call Karen Shaw at 646-798-0809. Once again, that's 646-798-0809. Or visit picturethisphotobooks.com. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley, and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Me and Moshe Zia. 
He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.